What's up guys? Jimmy from Mountain Bike Travel Review here and today I'm going to show you how to make your own solar heated pressurized camper shower. So before we jump into the video I wanted to touch base on a couple things regarding this camper shower and why I decided to make a video. Now I have a tow along escapade camper. I do a lot of mountain biking, I do a lot of camping and I wanted a quick way to wash up when I'm out there without having to worry about facilities or any of that because I do a lot of boondocking. So I decided I was going to make my own PVC camper shower and this is what I came up with. Now there are a lot of videos out there on these camper showers and how to make them. That said, I utilized those videos and found a bunch of flaws. So I wanted to make my own to give you a step-by-step -step process, including everything you need, the tools, and some notes on each step to make this as easy as possible for others to follow along. Now this shower is full PVC, so it weighs around 20, 25 pounds. When I say it is solar heated, what I mean is if you leave this on the roof of your car, it's painted black, so the sun will beat on this all day long and it will give you a nice warm shower. That said, it's just a warm shower. Don't expect a nice hot shower like you have at home. Again, very rustic. Now when it comes to being pressurized, I'm a mountain biker so I always have a bike pump in my car. So I actually used a Presta valve. Schrader valve is normally what you find on your car wheel. Presta valve is what you're going to find on pretty much every mountain bike or bike out there right now. So any bike pump will work with this. This Presta valve allows me to pressurize this when it's filled with water. I pressurize this up to 30 PSI and that gives me about a three, three and a half minute almost full pressure shower as long as I'm conservative. Now the primary difference between the other videos that are out there in mine is going to be the fill port. For most people they use either a four inch or a two inch standard valve here. It has a cap that screws in, you tighten it down, sounds easy. First issue, it's basically impossible to find any of those with a rubber gasket to make it an airtight seal. Second issue, if you put it too tight, basically you're going to need a wrench to get that thing off there. So I looked for a couple days, I went to all my local hardware stores and I figured out that a PVC ball joint valve is the best system for me. I've been using this camper shower for over a year now, it's really easy to make, it cost me I think just under $150, so no complaints. If you want to make something like this, follow along this video, I will show you exactly how to make it, and I hope it works for you. Let me know if you guys have any questions, if you do, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want to support the channel. Enjoy the video guys. Well, let's jump right into it.